Hi, this is David Savile. Now, this is the second video in the follow-up to a coaching call I had with Toumé. Um, I can share this, one, because he, you know, there's nothing um, too personal in this, and two, because he's one of the people that have agreed to be coached by video for me. I've given away two grand's worth of free coaching so that he can um, be videoed and then I can get it out into the world and you can see what I actually do inside a session, see the impact that it creates, and then you can make a choice. Would you like some of that? If so, you can reach out to me. So watch this space. When I get round to editing, um, trimming the ends off and cutting out any pieces that he doesn't want in, I will put it out there. In the meantime, there's a, an, another lesson that's been extracted from this session that could be useful for you. Now this one is about the energy expenditure. So he, he came up with, there were, there were things that were happening that um, within his flat, like things needed tidying, um, going shopping, you know, really simple stuff, small stuff. Um, but there were, there were things he was doing that his girlfriend was expecting him to do and he wasn't fulfilling them, at least not, you know, at the time she'd have to ask him repeatedly. Now, it may seem like a very small thing, but think of it this way. Someone asks you something, then it creates a kind of expectation in you that you'd like a pressure like it needs to be done. You know they're expecting you to do it. In that person, there's an expectation, or like I've asked and now I'm waiting. Now, when this happens more than once, you know, it becomes a pattern. The person asking is going to think, is going to ask the question, but secretly or inside know that you're probably not going to do that. That creates a negative energy in that person, you know, which will affect your relationship, your communication, and the way she goes about her day or he goes about his day. Um, when he's working. For you, if someone's asked you to do something, you said you will do it, and then you don't do it, you've got these thoughts buzzing through your head. You know, this every, everything we do goes inside our brains and our brain you know, puts it where it needs to go. But there's a thing about open loops, which is when something started, like you said, I will do this, and then your brain's like, hey, you're gonna do that thing, aren't you? So every time you choose not to do that thing, it goes round in the loop again and it's using mental energy. So when you're working, when you're communicating with your loved one, when you're out in the world, your energy is being wasted on that. So if your girlfriend, for instance, or your boyfriend, girlfriend more than boyfriend, I'm probably being stereotypical here, but if she says to take the rubbish out and he says, yes, I will do that, and then he doesn't do it, that the energy of not doing it is way more than the energy of just fucking doing it. You know, um, the energy of not doing something that you're expected to do or you said you will do, it drain, it's, it, it's draining. And then if you've got quite a few things like that buzzing around your brain and your body, it takes up a lot of energy. So if you were to change that, to become a person of your word, where you, if you say you're gonna do it, you actually do it, suddenly the energy you've got energy to spare energy you could use actually doing the fucking thing or energy that you could use in your work in your relationship so question for you when what are you saying yes to and then not following through with and what could you do today that you would normally put off to tomorrow. This could be in your personal relationship, it could be around the house, it could be in your business. I strongly recommend that you experiment by actually doing it now, sooner rather than later. Um, and when it comes to your loved one, how about you surprise that one by, by not having to be asked? You know, do so just surprises are awesome anyway. Um, and that would just make for a and a more beautiful home life, right? So, so yes, what can you do today instead of putting off for tomorrow? And when you do it, notice the change in your energy and your ability to focus after you've done it. Do it consistently, notice the difference. And then comment below or send me a message to tell me because I'd love to know your the, the difference it makes to you. Take care.